friends, Fiends and Z-Chan here. I learned something new that I wanted to share with you guys. As you noticed, the thumbnails on my videos are getting a little bit better. That is because I learned how to outline my text. Let's create a new thumbnail and I'll show you when I, how I do that. I have no idea why I'm humming, but I'm humming stuff. Fill in the background. Uh, new layer. Let's see. Something kind of cool to put on the back. Ground out there. I'm going to be making this tutorial about a thumbnail, so... It would be really cool if I had a, um, brush of just a thumb. <laughs> that would, that would be so perfect right now. But since I do not... Let us come up here to the dragons. Oh, we need our paintbrush tool. Oh my god, that dragon is entirely too big entirely too small. That looks about right. Kinda cool. And I could always put some more random stuff in here. New layer. Oh, yeah, that's going to be really small. I don't really want to take away from the focus too much, which is the actual video title, which is going to be put on here really soon. Alright, now for the fun part, putting the new title on there. Don't need to do that, I need to do this. Let's go with orange. I like orange. I like using orange for my titles, it just kind of pops. Let's see... when I do that because I have to go back and do this, this, I did not center it either. I like to center mine because it's easier to work with. Give me some larger text here. As you can see, that is a bit hard to read on this background. I'm going to make it bigger. Bigger more bigger. Not that that makes sense, but, uh, that's my usual text. Oh my gosh, that's too big now. This usually helps me to make my text bigger and more readable by making the lines, adjust the lining space. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and get my color and my fill set up. I'm going to go to layer. Go down to transparency and alpha to selection. Make sure you have your text selected when you do this or you will bork it all up. Go down to crow. Three is usually a good number for me. Some people want to, may want to use more. This is what it looks like when you mess up. That is because I did not add a new layer and put it under that one. 
the new layer has to be under the text layer. That is what it looks like when you do it right. Pretty snazzy, eh? Go down to select none and you will be able to view your thumbnail, which looks pretty freaking cool. It's not like pro level because I don't put my face on it like some of these big YouTubers seem to think they have to do, but I like it. I don't like putting my face on my thumbnails. I feel like it's a bit, um, what's the word I'm looking here? Egotistical. That's it. Now we will go down to save as. Always save it as a .png whenever you're using um, GIMP. Or else it'll just save it as a GIMP file and then you won't be able to do anything with it except for to edit it in GIMP. I mean, that's nice if you're going to go back and edit things. Export. Save. But if you're not, then it's pretty much useless. But yeah, that's all there is to it. I hope you guys have an awesome day, night, whatever. And keep calm, Slay Dragons. Talk to you guys later.